Hey guys, it's Adi here with Geek on Gadgets, and this is a look at the Windows 10 technical preview features that are specific for the Lumia 1520 or other large screen devices or phablets. Uh, I already did a video covering what's new in the original Windows 10 preview and yesterday's update, which uh, brought out the new Office and Outlook, uh, sorry, the Outlook uh, calendar and email and sp uh, Spartan browser and whatnot. So let's just look at the Lumia 1520 specific features and the main features are basically the new multitasking layout where you have a uh, card like layout of uh, you know 4x4x4 four by four by four and you can scroll this way to see as many apps as you have open and you just swipe down to close them basically and it's worth mentioning that just the most recent app is 1, 2, 3, 4 I believe so yeah it's 1, 2, 3, 4 not 1, 2, 3, 4 or anything else so just that's basically the uh, multitasking in that. We have Internet Explorer in landscape mode, and that's how the uh, new multitasking look looks in landscape mode. So the other major difference is the new um, keyboard. So this new keyboard allows you to move your keyboard around to make it easier to type new messages. So if you'll notice here on the spacebar, there's a little like uh, two horizontal bars. That's basically for dragging your keyboard around. So if I keep the spacebar clicked. Uh, press. I can drag my keyboard around, I can snap it to the right, or I can snap it to the left. If I'm left-handed and using my phone in my left hand, I can move it up or down depending on where I'm holding it. And this is really cool. Some parts of the uh, phone, basically the first-party apps like, I mean, I guess the messaging, uh, probably the phone dialer if you're searching or whatever, they'll respond to where you move the keyboard. So if you see here, I move the keyboard down, the text message box moves up. And in case you're wondering, I can actually superimpose them on top of each other. So here we go. There you go. See, at, to some extent, they're superimposable. And testing, one, two, three. And I must say, using this uh, movable keyboard is really, really, really useful. It makes typing a whole lot easier. And, you know, especially for a large device like this, I can reach the queue easily and way past that. So it's a great feature to have. And I think it's one of the things Microsoft did right in Windows 10. However, as mentioned, this keyboard uh, is it can get a bit messy in third-party apps. So if I look at Messenger for Facebook, new message here. So type a message. As you can see here, I'm superimposed on top of the messaging box, which does not respond to the keyboard positioning. So here, trying to get this to work, I can't see what I'm typing unless I move it back out of the way. So it's not really a big issue. I mean, you can, you're usually going to have your keyboard in the lower right hand corner or just fully down here, which should be more than uh, sufficient. But you also have, of course, the fact that it's not responding to the keyboard position, meaning you have a lot of empty space over here, which I'm sure will annoy a lot of people. So those are basically the only two uh, really major changes for large screen devices specific to the Lumia 1520 or 1320 and uh, probably the 640 XL. I'm not sure about that, actually. I'm actually not sure which devices will get that feature, so I don't want to say anything that's wrong. But I just thought it was worth sharing to give you guys a look at the multitasking view on large screen devices as well as the new keyboard. What do you guys think about those features? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you around.